Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a stranger's speech, and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. The terrorist organization, the RCC, is the only organization's interpretation of the scriptures that is widely circulating in the B system. The introductory page of every Bible says, Authorized. If you use the King James Version, it will say the Authorized King James Version. Israelites, you must ask yourself, who is the person or group that is authorizing the various versions of the Bible? Were the individuals who published the authorized version of the scriptures anointed by the Most High? Our original scrolls were letters written by Israelites to preserve our customs and traditions for the generations to come. Also to identify prophecy. The original scriptures are the words of the Most High. Yah would command his anointed prophets to write down everything he revealed to them. Here is an example. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. As you heard, the Most High command his anointed Jeremiah to write down prophecies concerning Israel and Judah. In order to hear the pure, unadulterated words of the Most High, you need the Holy Spirit and you must be anointed by the Most High. The Holy Spirit would be with the anointed person, guiding them. When dealing with the affairs of the Most High, it must be done in a righteous manner. The people who gathered themselves to authorize which scriptures to add and take away from the Bible were not individuals anointed by the Most High. Remember, the Most High deal with his people, the Israelites. Aaron, who descend from the tribe of Levi, his sons and their offspring were the anointed priests, the Most High anointed to conduct the priestly duties. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother and his sons with him from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. The Most High used Moses and Aaron to show himself strong through. Both Moses and Aaron descend from the Levite tribe. The tribe of Levi, the Most High took for himself. And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. Most prophets the Most High used to preserve his words descend from the Levite tribe. The Council of Nicaea is the heathen group that gathered to decide what scriptures would be added or removed from the Bible. None of the members of this organization descend from the Israelite bloodline. Most, if not all, descend from the serpent seed. The scripture said in Amos, the Israelites are the only family the Most High know. Other bloodlines that serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, Yah referred to them as strangers. The brood of vipers that came together to conspire against our people were not anointed by the Most High to add and remove from the scriptures. In addition to teach and decode the scriptures, how can a worker of iniquity do the will of the Most High? You must have the Holy Spirit to know the truth. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. When you are anointed by the Most High, his Spirit is with you everywhere you go to lead you. 
When King David was anointed to become king, the scriptures reveal Samuel anointed David with oil and the spirit of the Most High came upon David. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. The council of Nicaea were under the orders of the Roman Emperor Constantine. Where in the Bible did you read of the Most High anointing the Emperor Constantine? Where in the Bible did you read the Most High assembled the council of Nicaea to do his will? Never did the Most High appoint such people. The Most High said to his people, the Israelites, Never appoint a stranger over thee. Why would the Most High assemble the members of the council of Nicaea to alter his scriptures? Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. If you do your research, Israelites, you will see the Most High did not appoint the workers of iniquity that are the head leaders of religion. The people are following the orders of a Roman emperor. Every prophet or individual the Most High used to show himself strong through gave the Most High the glory. King David seeked the Most High continually. The Most High used him in a mighty way. King David is known as a man after the Most High's heart. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. Today, when you research the root to the authorized versions of the Bible, a Roman emperor is the root, not the Most High. You will discover in the scriptures the root to every success the Israelites had started with the Most High. The Mizraim captivity is a great example. Everyone knows the Most High used Moses to deliver his people out of Mizraim, known as Egypt. Everyone knows the Most High displayed his powers for everyone to see. When the members of the Council of Nicaea came together to plagiarize the scriptures and to include themselves into the scriptures, they were under the orders of Emperor Constantine and Satan. There is nothing about the Council of Nicaea that points to the Most High. When the disciples received the Holy Spirit, they all gathered in a room and a great wind came that filled the entire room. A lot of miracles took place. The people who gathered in the room and outside began to speak in tongues. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Most High must display His glory so no man could boast before Him. The walls of Jericho are another example. The Most High could have command His people to tear down the wall. Instead, the Most High made the Israelites walk around the walls for seven days. On the last day, the priest blows a trumpet, the people scream, and the walls fall. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass, that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. What great miracles have you heard that could support the Most High's approval of the Council of Nicaea altering the scriptures? Everything the workers of iniquity did were in secret. Only the members of the synagogue of Satan were present to conspire against the people of the Most High. The scriptures reveal what is done in secret will become known. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid 
that shall not be known and come abroad. Today, the synagogue of Satan gathers in secret meetings to discuss world events and how to bring forth Satan's agenda in the physical realm. The general public is not informed nor present in these meetings. In addition, the people have no knowledge of what is being discussed in those meetings. World events such as COVID-19 is the strategy the workers of iniquity come up with in those meetings to weaken the people. Once the people become desperate, they present their abominations as a solution to establish covenants. Israelites, once you learn history and discover the root to the popular doctrines the world received, you would be appalled from your foundings. If the people could comprehend they are following the kingdom of darkness in religion, the road to eternal life would not be narrow. Because many deny knowledge, religion is leading them on the broad road to destruction. Satan has truly deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. In order to understand the altered scriptures, you must have the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit reveals truth and tell you the things to come. Do not rely on books written by heathens and Bible colleges to increase your understanding. The Holy Spirit is all that you need to understand the scriptures. If you follow the workers of iniquity to decode the scriptures, you are doing yourself a disservice. The blind cannot lead the blind. If you allow the blind to lead you, both of you will fall into a ditch. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Israelites, anyone who deny the Most High cannot receive his spirit. The people who follow the beast system faithfully do not have the Holy Spirit. The scriptures reveal the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because the world, the beast system, does not know the Most High. Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The Israelites who serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth has the Holy Spirit operating in them. The Israelites lost in the beast system the Holy Spirit depart from them because they are in the flesh. When King Saul refused to obey the Most High, the scriptures reveal the spirit of the Most High depart from him and an evil spirit came on him that tormented him. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. The Israelites who are backsliding, the spirit of the Most High is not with them. That is why the unfortunate happens to them. They are no longer under the protection of the Most High. King Saul is a great example. King Saul was anointed by the Most High to lead his people. His constant disobedience and the lust of the flesh caused him to lose his kingship. You cannot please the Most High in the flesh. When you operate in the Spirit, you have the Holy Spirit guiding you. It is through the Holy Spirit the Most High order your steps. The scripture said, the steps of a righteous person are led by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Israelites, do not allow the Holy Spirit to live dormant in you. Operating in the Spirit draws you closer to the Most High. The popular doctrines that come from the pulpits of the churches are doctrines that stems from familiar spirits speaking through workers of iniquity, disguising themselves as disciples of the Most High. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. What is popular with the world is an abomination to the Most High. Examine everything the world accepts. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, is the foundation to all religion. Her daughter, the Protestant churches, are scattered throughout the world. In the most remote places of this world, you could find a graven image of the Messiah that came in his own name. I find it interesting that you could find the indigenous people worshiping the abomination of desolation, the son of perdition, the Jewish Messiah, 
all over the world, yet the end did not come. The evangelicals have been around the world multiple times preaching white Jesus. That is why you can find a Catholic church in every nation. Somehow the end did not come. Could it be the truth that is being spread in the awakening is the gospel that must be spread throughout the world as a testimony against all the nations? Then the end would come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Meditate on that, Israelites. The RCC and the Protestant church share the same doctrines. There is no difference between them. The seat of Satan is in Rome, the Vatican City, in St. Peter's main altar. Gates are the most powerful altars. Look at that demonic gate. And there you would find the Pope. The Protestant Church foundation is rooted in the Roman Catholic Church, the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan. Israelites, can you discern why the churches our people have been attending for several years are powerless Satan cannot cast out Satan. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? The scriptures reveal the judgment that awaits all the churches who misled the people of the Most High. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days when Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. The doctrines from religion the world receive and circulating in all the kingdoms of this world are pushed to deceive the people. The beast system welcomes the misinterpretation of the scriptures because they are an enemy to the Most High. Presently in the awakening, the truth is breaking the yoke of iron religion placed on the people. The kingdom of darkness is fighting against the truth because they know the truth will set the people free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The kingdom of darkness cannot let the people connect with the Most High. That is why they take precautionary measures to disrupt the awakening. The RCC and the anointed teachers in the awakening are using the same scriptures and Bible. Matter of fact, I am using the authorized version of the King James Bible they put out. The interpretation of the scriptures that comes from the Holy Spirit speaking through me must be censored. While the familiar spirits speaking through the workers of iniquity in religion are promoted and enforced on the people. The religious leaders in Christianity accept and abide by the doctrines they learn in Bible college and the familiar spirits that speaks through them. That is why the beast system promotes them. If you belong to this world, it would accept you as its own. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. I do not belong to this world. That is why they hate me. Any organization that censored the voice of the people to discredit them while uplifting the voice of the kingdom of darkness is a terrorist attack against the people. What are you afraid of? I can never respect any organization like Awaken for Israel because they use disruptive ads to push their agenda on this channel. In addition, they want to make it seem as if this channel supports them. I would never join forces with workers of iniquity. 
Do not support them. I pray Open Diaries community receive enough wisdom to not allow the kingdom of darkness to lead them astray from the demonic commercials. As a reminder, you could always watch commercial free on Open Diaries website at openonediary.com. The beast system oppress and censor the voice of the opposition to deceive the masses into believing many support their demonic plans and solutions. The RCC is the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan. Therefore, their misinterpretation of the scriptures is at the forefront. The RCC have our original scrolls. That is how they could alter the words of the Most High to their liking. Publish the diluted scriptures that make them superior. If the Most High could use a donkey to save Balaam, the Most High can certainly use the altar scriptures to show himself strong through. There is nothing too hard for the Most High. Keep in mind, Israelites, the Most High said he would write his laws in our hearts and in our minds. That is why you need the Holy Spirit. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts. And in their minds will I write them. The synagogue of Satan's version of the scriptures is popular with the world. The beast system welcomes anything that is against the Most High. The Israelites' original scrolls are kept hidden. The scripture said, Whatever is popular with the world is an abomination to the Most High. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. It is important, Israelites, to examine everything, especially the abominations the world accepts. Remember, everything that pertains to the flesh, the world would receive. The scripture said, everything in the world, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, comes from the world and not the Father. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father. It is of the world. The truth of the Most High's words that is coming out is the weapon every Israelite and stranger needs to break the evil covenants established in every generation from the misinterpretation of the scriptures. Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness deceive you into trading your glory for the lesser. It is time that the people of the Most High establish a personal relationship with the Elohim of Israel. Stop seeking the Most High through the workers of iniquity. And it shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishai, and shalt call me no more Balai. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. You will never find the Most High in religion. Regardless of what the kingdom of darkness does to interrupt the awakening, the times of the heathens will end. It is prophesied. Because the wickedness of the people has increased, the Most High is speeding up the times for the sake of the elect. Israelites, do not allow the workers of iniquity deceive you into believing the truth that is spreading across the world is not of the Most High. If the workers of iniquity are constantly opposing the truth in the awakening, this conclude you have found the narrow path that leads to life. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Our original scrolls are in the hands of the workers of iniquity. Despite of the alterations in the scriptures, the Holy Spirit can reveal the truth. Israelites, Awaken the Holy Spirit dwelling in you to connect to the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The words of the Most High are powerful. Yah has placed His words in you. Let go of the ways of this world to seek the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. 